this shit don't fit nothing. It don't fit nothing at all. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shayna and I do a bunch of different random content, just whatever I feel like doing. And if you are new here, today is a pack with me, get ready for vacay video. I remember I was doing this exact same video at this exact same time last year, getting ready to go on our family trip slash my husband's birthday trip to the mountains. And I was 31, 32 weeks pregnant and now we are about to take our 11 month old on that same trip that I was pregnant with her. And I just can't believe it, time is flying by. So here I am doing the same sort of video, but this time I'm not only packing for me and my husband, but I'm also packing for my little baby daughter. So, being laid out here, let me guys. This is an everything, everything. It is Wednesday and we leave Friday morning. This is all of Emery's stuff right here. I have jammies, I have all of her outfits picked up for the day, plus extras because you can never go wrong with that with a baby. And also the weather is iffy, so it's supposed to be in the, high 80s when we're there so i brought mainly like summer clothes even pants just in case it gets cooler so i brought two of those outfits and brought a jacket this is the only one that we have that fits her so it doesn't go with everything but we'll just make do if so i bought a little hat just in case lots of extra socks and then bows with all of her outfits this is her what i'm going to keep in her diaper bag well this is the outfit that she's going to wear up there and then this is a pajama pair of like change of clothes i'm going to keep in her diaper bag just in case she messes them up i'll show you guys all of that once i do her diaper bag this right here is her bath and like all that stuff toiletry bag I have some this is it the shampoo for her cradle cap it's like a special kind so i put that in there this is lotion for her and this is her baby oil and then this right here is her actual baby wash and then some toys and her um scrubby for her head this little king cube has bibs an extra blanket washcloths and two towels and then i put spoons in here for food and then over there i have a well there's a pair of random pair of shoes over there that i need to put in her bag and this is um i just brought a whole sleeve of diapers so i don't have to worry about like bringing like just random pieces a thicker blanket as well and then this right here is my crap that we have so all my outfits laid out with their prospective shoes this is my going up there outfit um i have like three different workout like athletic outfits because we plan on hiking and i don't know what the weather is going to be like so i brought a pair of leggings a cropped live jacket with like the thumb holes in it and then um, a shirt that says mama on it and then a tank top to go with some shorts i have biker shorts and the regular athletic shorts and then pajamas i have one pair of shorts that are in the washing machine which is going to go with this shirt that i have to pack but these this shorts go with this one this one this little outfit and then i also brought a just in case it get um, gets cold and also a cardigan that pretty much a black cardigan that will pretty much go with anything just in case it is a little bit chilly as well and that is my packing cube brandon's stuff because obviously he's gonna do it i just have a packing cube laid out to the side for him he just needs to pick out what he wants to wear shove it in the packing cube and i will put it in our suitcase right here has my bras uh, socks and like undergarments and stuff in it so let's go ahead and get some of this stuff into the suitcase and let's see how we're going to fit this stuff i'm trying to get my husband myself and my daughter all in one suitcase that's why i bought packing cubes to make it squish better but we'll see how that works out hopefully it does if not i'll just put all of emory's stuff in of my other i guess medium size bags like a book bag or something and put all of her stuff in it that's not too big because we're only taking two cars and there's nine of us going and babies have a lot of stuff we like to cook dinner there we eat lunch wherever out where we're at but for dinner we usually we do a meal plan for the week and then we usually bring all of the food up there with us which is what we're doing again and coolers take up a lot of room so that's why i'm nervous so hopefully i'll get everything in one suitcase fingers crossed
Okay, so I managed to squish everything in here. This is Brandon's packing cube. I doubt he's going to be able to fit everything in here because I took the large one and I took all of my room. All the room in there and his clothes is obviously bigger than mine. Shoes, the diapers in here, Emery's, mine, and then mine as well. I'm going to put Brandon's undergarments in here as well, so hopefully he'll be able to get his shorts, jeans, or shirts and stuff in here. Yeah, if we're going to be able to get everything in here or not, because I don't think Brandon's packing cube is going to fit on top of here. I don't think that it might, it may, it may close. But back here, I'm going to put the toiletry bags. This I cannot pack until tomorrow and Friday, so I did go ahead and get my shampoo, conditioner, and lotion bottle in here that me and Brandon will share. And then this is a jewelry thing that I'm going to put my jewelry in. Honestly, can't pack my tooth. This is also my toothbrush and toothpaste holder. Can't pack that deodorant brush or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could go pack. I can go ahead and pack some jewelry. And then I can't. I won't pack my makeup until Friday as well. And um, I guess I can go ahead and do my perfume, actually. This is actually a gift from my coworker. And I'm going to be honest. A lot of us, she gave us each one of this, like, for Mother's Day. That are Mother's. And I didn't. Like, we didnn't see this part. We just pulled it out of the thing. And every single one of us thought it was a bullet like no joke we thought it was a bullet and we we're like oh that's the best mother's day gift ever but it's a perfume holder uh, at the bottom you stick on the thing and you fill it up and you squirt it so i thought it was really cool so i'm gonna go ahead and do that all right and then i placed all of our the outfits that we are going to wear over here which i'm actually going to move over the chest of drawers um but yeah so that's pretty much everything that i can do right now uh, tomorrow i have a wax appointment for my eyebrows and my downstairs area and then i'm gonna com come home and shower pack everything that i don't need from the shower like i need to get us a loofah in there about towels um because there's nine of us staying and even though they have towels i don't think it's going to be enough for the, that many of us oh my god we're probably gonna have to use another bag oh well anyway so yeah i will pick back up with you guys tomorrow all right welcome back as you can tell i just got out of the shower and now i'm about to pack all of brandon's stuff we are waiting for a couple more things are in the dryer at the moment but i'm gonna go ahead and get all the stuff in his packing cube and then i'm gonna put his socks and underwear and stuff in my bag over there that i have that has all of and socks and stuff in it so i'll put all of our undergarments in one thing and then his clothes in the other packing cube and all we need left for his packing cube is a pair of shorts that's in the dryer so i didn't record anything while i was at my waxes i completely forgot but i got my eyebrows waxed and i um got a brazilian wax as well go ahead and get everything prepped i need to touch up my nails tonight because they just completely started like i did not feel like going to get them done and like having to spend the money so i just had my mom literally do them for me but it's cheap figuring out polish them up tonight before we go so let's All right, now we're gonna start doing um, the toiletries and stuff. I'm just gonna leave the toiletry bag out on the counter. I can uh, brush my teeth, put deodorant on, lotion, jewelry, makeup, and whatnot. So I'm just leave it on the counter. Pack it in the in the um, in the packet in the suitcase tomorrow. All right, so I'm having to resort to my old toiletry bag. It's not old, I've had, well, I've had it since like 2020. Um, but I bought this off of Amazon because there's really good reviews and like it was aesthetically pleasing and whatnot and I really need, I really wanted a new one. But um, this shit don't fit nothing. It don't fit nothing at all. Like, are you kidding me? Why would y'all buy this? It doesn't fit nothing, it's a waste of money. It's cute and pretty, but it don't fit shit. It wouldn't even. It doesn't hold my makeup. Like what?
Okay, so we have all of my makeup smushed in here. It all works. It all fits. And then toiletries. So we have deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, loofah. I have my razor and my face roller in there. And then my lotion. This has my toothbrush, toothpaste, and Brandon's. This is a little jewelry container. Um, but most of the jewelry I usually wear, like, already. So I'm going to put all these back on in the morning so there's no need to put it in there. Um, I also have my perfume in there as well that I pumped that you saw yesterday. And then my brush and then I have a clip that's attached to my bag that I'm going to put to attach to my carry-on, which is literally just going to be my fanny pack. So I'm going to attach it to there and I'm going to put that in there. I'm also, I'm going to put my brush in my fanny pack, my deodorant clip, and then whatever else I want in there. Um, so I'm actually going to take that out of here. All right, so this is literally everything that I'm bringing that I'm putting in my carry-on. So I have a brush, uh, my deodorant, chapstick. I'm going to add whatever lipstick I'm going to wear, a lighter, meds, headphones, a nail kit, portable charger, ID, credit card, and my clip. And then I have a hair on my wrist, and that's literally all I'm going to put in here. Um, if I think of something extra I may do, I'm probably going to shove my actual phone charger in there as well instead of put it in the suitcase. But other than that, I don't need anything. And if anything's too big, I'm just going to stick it in Emery's diaper bag. What I'm bringing is this. It is a book cover holder. It protects the book from just sitting there with the book that I'm going to read. And then other than that, that's... I don't really need anything else like in my car and this is what I'm gonna be carrying around for me as like my purse my bag while we're in Tennessee the entire time so yeah I still have to pack a couple more things that are in the wash and the dryer right now and shove it in the cubes. Brandon's cube won't even close all the way and he doesn't have all his pajamas in there so I'm actually going to have to figure out something else. I, really know. I don't have any more packing cubes. I think I bought the wrong set. Um, I should have bought the other one but I went for the cheaper version which was a mistake. Other than that, the only thing I have left to do is use diaper bag, the way that I want to pack for the road trip up there. Um, and obviously, I'll change it up and fix it the way that I want it for the days that were there. And then pet put the toiletries and stuff in the suitcase tomorrow. I honestly have no idea. I'll fit everything in here because I have that that packed in here, what's in there, and I'm going to pack like one or two towels. So we'll see how it makes it fit. This goes up like this, so it adds more... Um, space right here you can stack stuff on top of each other as long as it'll freaking zip up we should be good to fit brandon's packing cube brandon's packing cube on top of emory's so hopefully it'll close with that and that one with our socks and stuff will go on top of this again as well and then i will just put um brandon's shoes back here as well with mine i'll shove towels on top or maybe back here and then figure out where to put the toiletry bag i'm in this shoved in there Obviously, although I really actually don't even need to use this. I probably will take the jewelry out of here and put it in my other toiletry bag, which again, I feel like maybe I wasted my money on this because I really don't need it because the, I wanted to do something cute and have aesthetically pleasing stuff. And I see all these TikTokers and like reels and stuff like, oh, we'll get this in this like pack with me, my Amazon favorites when I'm packing and stuff like this. And this was on the list as well as the other tree bag thing that I got. That thing's small as shit. It doesn't fit anything. What these people are packing are things that I don't pack, I guess. I have a lot of, I don't ha I do not do a lot of products at all. Like I don't put a face mask on or anything like that. I just use my roller and I don't have like a skincare routine or anything. So I don't do products like that. Or makeup, like I'm not wearing makeup right now. And in most of my videos, you see that I don't wear makeup. I only wear makeup for special occasions or when I feel like putting it on. So yeah, so I feel like I wasted my money on this stuff. I think I may keep it though because I bought this stuff mainly for our Vegas trip in October, which stay tuned for that. I'm sorry this video was a little bit more boring. I didn't go out and like show me prepping and doing anything because I completely forgot to pull my camera out while I was at my waxes, but I didn't do anything else other than that as far as like pamper and like prep myself for like vacation, I guess. Other than that, I didn't do much but if you want to see how I'm packing for a baby here's this um, that's how I fully get everything in here but until then I'm pretty much done and I'll show you guys how I pack um, her diaper bag but I'm pretty I can't really do anything else at this point so thanks for being here <laughs> I'm sorry again that this wasn't like as interesting as I thought it was gonna be I for sure think that last year's video was a lot more interesting and <coughs> I'm a bit my allergies and my 
uh, sinuses I've been acting up for like two weeks now so that on top of this does not make this fun like I'm so tired of packing like I don't want to do anything anymore so our food just got here for dinner I'm gonna go downstairs and eat and my sister should be here with my daughter soon but my mom's today and my sister still lives with my parents so she's just gonna bring her over here on her way over oh my god this I cannot it's because my hair is like drying and this is I need to brush my hair this is horrible I bring her she had to go home after work and pack so she's gonna bring her home that's what I'll probably see you guys again because that's what I'm gonna do her diaper bag and then I'll be able to pack the rest of the stuff because the dryer and stuff will be done. Okay, everyone, update. Everyone is home. My sister is dream reading. My husband and his brother are downstairs watching TV. And Emery is asleep. So I'm now packing up her diaper bag. So here's everything laid out. We have toys. This is basically her bag that has literally everything. We keep this in her diaper bag anyway, but I just added some stuff to it. There's like medicine, sunscreen, lotion, nail clipper, teethers, um, syringes and stuff like that. So everything in there that's like medical or like smaller goes in there. These are the snacks we were taking plus her formula. We have some sweet potato sticks. Oh, she absolutely loves those. And then in this pocket, I have her a bottle. I have a spoon I have this pouch and these this um, teether and then a bottle of water to refill I have an extra bottle here and then her water and then this is all the toys are actually all the toys that we're bringing on the trip I'm just shoving them all into her bag instead of like trying to pack them and she gets bored easily so I'm trying to keep her as entertained as possibly can on this almost five hour drive so we just have a bunch of toys rattles things that make noise stuff for her to look at and this game boy she loves this game boy this hat we always keep in there anyway for sun sunnies and we're gonna need that on the way there I already have diapers and wipes her extra pair of clothes and then we have some wet ones in here so let's go ahead and put stuff in there And that is everything. I'm going to take this out. Actually, I'm just going to put it on top in the morning because we're going to use that for her bottle if she wakes up in the middle of the night. Kind of just, I put the this one snack in this pouch and then the Cheetos at the very bottom. I put this here and then um, I just shoved her toys in the little crevices. And then obviously the wet ones are in there. So everything's good to go. And she's all packed and ready for the trip. This is the current state of our suitcase. I really don't think I'm going to be able to get it closed. But in here are Brandon. I added Brandon's two pair of shoes. He's wearing one and then he has the slides in the car and two towels. This is my toothbrush and toothpaste. And I, I'm taking these out, but I'm going to see if I'm able to close it up because I need to know if I need to grab another bag and put Emery's cubicles in there before tomorrow, which is why I'm going ahead and doing this. Unfortunately, it's not gonna work. Emery, so I took Emery's two cubicles out and I moved my bed here and my cubicle under here and then moved that one towards the middle. It should definitely close now. so much in my suitcase that I've had to use this to its full effect. Never. The extension part, so. Damn. Um, but let me find a book bag for her stuff. So unfortunately it wasn't happening, so I grabbed this Victoria's Secret bag that I've had forever since high school and uh just plop them in here i would just like say throw these in the back of the truck but i'm not going to because this one is open it's mesh 
and it's her clothes so I want to close them up in something so there's that and our suitcase and then this is my fanny pack so these two will go in the back of the truck and the diaper bag and my fanny pack the book will be with me I am officially done packing as how everything fits in here. I'm going to go ahead and open this back up and take out my toiletry bag and then throw it back in there in the morning. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really wish this was more interesting, but um, today I just have no energy and I really didn't feel like doing this, but I, obviously it had to be done. I wish it was more exciting. But thank you guys for watching this pack with me, with, pack with me, with me, and I'm so excited to be leaving for vacation tomorrow. I desperately need it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.